Hi everyone, I wanted to welcome you to another wonderful school year, the 2023-2024 school year here at Payne Elementary. I am Angela Santiago. I'm your art teacher here, one of two. There's me, Miss Santiago, and Miss Andrews on the south side. So some of you may have had her last year, or some of you have only had me, or maybe you're in kindergarten or you're brand new to our school, and this is the first time you've ever stepped foot at our school. So welcome. I have a few things that I wanna cover with us today. So like I said, I'm Miss Santiago. I've been here now for five years teaching, and this is my sixth year overall teaching. So I'm still brand new like some of us here as well. I love to make art. If you've been in my class before, you know I love painting projects. And so we're gonna do a lot of painting this year, but we're also introducing clay lessons with real clay. So I'm very excited. And maybe some weaving and fiber arts and other things. So please be excited and let me know if there's something that you want us to explore in this classroom as well. A few other things about me. Um, I'm married, my husband's name is PJ. We live in the Birmingham area with our two boys, Marshall, who's in second grade with Miss Seely, and Kobe, who is brand new to this school with Miss Dillard. He is in kindergarten. We have a cat named Sushi and a cute little Boston Terrier that we just got this summer named Oreo, and he is six months old. Very cute. The kind of art that I personally like to make, I love making jewelry and I love painting. So you might see a lot of things like that in our classroom. Um, also, hmm, let's see, another thing you might have noticed in my classroom that I really like is Gudetama. He is my favorite character, so you might find him everywhere and you might have even seen him on our doors when we walked in. A few things about our classroom. So I wanna go over the little kind of boring things with you first before we do all the fun things. And we gotta do a little housekeeping here. So you might see this sheet on your desk and it says art rules. And it means two things, art rules, like yes. And also these are the art rules. But you might notice that they're a little different. It's trying new things. That means for us that we really want to give it our best effort. I promise you, Miss Santiago makes mistakes every single time she makes art. And sometimes I'm a little nervous, but as long as we try and explore it, we're gonna have a fun time. We want a positive attitude in here. Sometimes we're nervous and it makes us not wanna be happy and joyful, but I am always here to help you. Your table mates are here to help you and your class is here to help you. So let's have a positive attitude. Let's enjoy this 30 minutes that we have together and we only have it once a week. So let's really bring our best when we come in here. And that follows up with giving it 100%. There are going to be things that might be hard for us. It might be really easy for the person sitting beside you, but it might be hard for you. And that's okay. We're just gonna give it our 100%. If you've been in my class before, you know that I'm not looking for perfection. I'm not a perfect artist, I never will be, and that is okay. But I am looking for your best. And that just means you doing what you can do, all right? Now, another thing, being kind. It is very easy to be self-conscious in here. Maybe we're doing something that's hard and we don't like what we're doing, but we always need to be encouraging to one another. We need to be loving, we need to be kind. And the golden rule that I love so much, do on to others as you would like to have done to you. So being kind to others, being treating them the way that you wanna be treated. We all want someone to be supportive of us. Now, some of the things that are kind of like, hey, let's do this. We've got to take care of our materials. That's on this art rule sheet right here. And that just means, should we break our pencils on purpose? Should we break our crayons on purpose? No, should we throw things? Should I draw on Miss Santiago's tables? No. Now, that's to say, things are gonna break. Accidents are gonna be happening. We will spill paint. We will break a crayon. That is okay. I do it all the time. Y'all know me if you've been in here and if you haven't, you will witness it this year. So don't worry about that. But what we're not going to do is break things on purpose, you know, throw things. We're going to be respectful of our classroom. I'm going to try to keep it really clean for you guys. And then we are going to try to keep it clean for the class that comes. And so that brings us to our last thing, cleaning 
cleaning up our messes right here. So when we finish class, um, I will have a little timer. You will see my little timer. In fact, let me see if I can grab it for you. One second. One second. Enjoy this view right here. You will see this big, giant timer on my board. I will have it set for whatever time we need, but when it goes all the way down, woo, and you hear this noise, guess what? That means it's time to clean up. So we will have these little carts. I will show you the carts that are on the side of your table, has your supplies, we'll put our supplies up. If I need to wipe the table down, we'll wipe the table down. If I see trash on the floor, we will pick it up and then we will line up on our numbers. I have not put our numbers out yet, but you will find these on the floor. And this year I have these little guys right here that say, let me find it line leader so if you're your line leader person in your classroom or you are the caboose in your classroom which just means you're the last person in line uh, line maybe you're taking care of doors maybe you're doing those things you can line up on that instead of your number um, i think that's going to really help us because we had a lot of fights about that last year you know who you are but that's where we will line up so how do we enter our classroom? If you've been with me before, we know we only have one entrance and one exit. So we will enter through the door that says, guess what it says? It says enter. And we will exit through the door that says, guess what? Exit. And the makes it easy for us because these little lumbers right here will be leading us to the exit door. So we will clean up, we will line up, and then I will see you next week. So those are some of the rules um, that we will have. It's pretty simple. Um, and what we're going to do throughout the day after this video stops, I'm going to be learning about some of your interests in the classroom. Like, what do you like to do? Do you like to draw? Do you like to paint? Have you never tried any of it? What's something you would like to try? We're going to learn about that. And then I'm going to take you on a little tour of our room because some things will look a little different. Some things look the same. Uh, and we're just going to have a wonderful, wonderful year together. I'm so, so happy that you are in my classroom. And let's get started.